Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to another edition of Roasting NFL Experts Mock Drafts Part 3. Now, this is the first time I'm doing this post-combine. Just got done watching some March Madness, Ohio State. Oh my God, that pack line defense over Loyola Chicago, guys. I think Ohio State's going to the Final Four. I really do seeing that. Could you imagine if Delaware beats Villanova? That game's about to take place, but if Delaware beats Villanova, Ohio State would only have to face Delaware to get to the Sweet 16. That's kind of what happened with Murray State. Like, Murray State just has to face St. Peter's now. Because Kentucky lost. That's who Murray State faces, that you have to be beat St. Peter's to get to the Sweet 16. March Madness right now. My national championship pick is destroying Yale. Uh, Purdue looks unbelievable. It's halftime. But let's get to this video. Little March Madness right there. This video. So... We're seeing a changing of the guard when it comes to these mock drafts post-combine from Evan Neal as the number one overall pick to mostly the consensus number one overall pick being Aiden Hutchinson. We're seeing a lot of Aiden Hutchinson's Pro Football Focus, Pro Football Network, Aiden Hutchinson. There's an Evan Neal. It's kind of odd this thing lists Evan Neal as a guard. Interior offensive lineman, no, he's a tackle. But most of this is Aiden Hutchinson. There's Akeem Aquanu. If it were up to me, if I was in the Jaguars position, I would take Akeem Aquanu personally. I like him a little bit more than Evan Neal. And I think it's so important to get that franchise left tackle for Trevor Lawrence. Now, you know, I think most of these people are changing their picks to Aiden Hutchinson because the Jaguars spending all that money on offense. They uh, re-signed Cam Robinson or gave him like, the I think they gave him the franchise tag, uh, Cam Robinson, who's kind of a decent tackle, but still that wouldn't deter me from taking uh, Akeem Aquanu. Aiden Hutchinson's still a good player. He's a franchise pass rusher. He's going to be really good in the NFL. I have him comped to Max Crosby, who just got a massive deal, by the way, Max Crosby. But what I do is I normally just go through some of these mock drafts and I think we'll just go with like a pro football focus, tell you what I like, tell you what I don't like about him from different experts. This is Michael Renner. A lot of these people are no names. Oh my God, this is a dud. So the first mock draft I go to, the New York Giants, I would hang myself. Charles Cross, uh, Trayvon Walker. Yeah, Trevon Walker. It, I, I just, jum, oh my goodness. Jermaine, Trevor, Pen okay, so Trevor Penning, that's an aggressively high pick, but I can understand why. Trevor Penning is moving up my board. I think I got him at number 24 now overall. Number nine is pretty aggressive. He's very raw. He's from Northern Iowa. We don't know about the competition. There, There's questions there. Malik Willis, six overall. That's aggressive, but I understand it. Carolina's desperate for a quarterback after missing out on Deshaun Watson, Ahmad Gardner, Drake London at number 13, paired with Amari Cooper. I would like that. Personally, I think Garrett Wilson is a better... Yeah, if there's... See, this is this is so dumb. If Garrett Wilson is on the board at number four, 13, the Browns are taking Garrett, Garrett Wilson. It's as simple as that. Jordan Davis, number 14, that's too high. Derek Stingley Jr. at 15 is unbelievable value. There is the injury question. Devontae Wyatt at number 16. Very good. Jamison Williams at 17 after re-signing Mike Williams. I don't know. Garrett Wilson. You know, that might be, it, that would be maybe, well, they're probably not going to have their first round pick if they got Deshaun Watson, but I guess if they re-sign Jameis Winston or something, you go for a quarterback. George Karloff, this unbelievable value there. Kenny Pickett, I don't love Kenny Pickett, but I do agree the Steelers' plan is to, you know, you've got Mitch Trubisky, you take a quarterback in the first round, and then you can start Mitch Trubisky the first few weeks and then transition to your quarterback. Chris Alave at 22. I'm guessing this was done before, yeah, because they don't even have their first round pick. So this might actually be a, not a great time to do this because a trade just happened. So, But we're just going to do it anyways. Lewis Chin from Georgia. I've seen him in a few first rounds. He's definitely someone that's trending up. Uh, Nicobe, you got to be kidding me. How are you not going to have Nicobe Dean in the first round? I, I just, So this overall, Travis Jones, I love that. Traylon Burks is a bust. But at 32 overall, that's not too bad. So people are really starting to agree with me that Traylon Burks was simply overranked. I mean, you had people before. People will never admit this, but there were a lot of experts out there that had Traylon Burks their number one receiver before the combine. I never had him top five. Now that he sucked at the combine, he put on a bad performance. All these experts are starting to walk back their Traylon Burks hot takes about him being the number one receiver and they're never going to admit it, but I was the first one to say, even before the combine, I never liked Burks. There's never been a video of me saying Burks is like a top three receiver in this class. There's never been a video. There's never been one. Tyler Linderbaugh, great value there for Miami if he were to fall. 
Andrew Booth not going in the first round, I could see it. Daxton Hill not going, I could see it. Green, the, the guard, I could see it. He's a pure guard. N'Kobe Dean is, is going to go in the first round. He's just too good. So we're just going to go through a few of these like I normally do, see who's kind of the trendy players. Again, Walker at number five. Pe tre is tre okay, so what I've learned, Trevor Penning is really moving up boards, at least in these, in these few mocks. Kyle Hamilton, number two, I can't hate on it. Kyle Hamilton's going to be a beast. He's going to be a beast. If you want to be safe and you're Detroit and you're going to take your franchise quarterback next year, I understand it. Evan Neal, number four, cannot hate on that. Charles Cross is a bust, I'm sorry. Kayvon Thibodeau at number eight, I can't hate on it. They might not even have their first round pick. We'll see if the Deshaun Watson trade goes through. He should decide this weekend. Malik Willis. Malik Willis is the one quarterback you're going to start seeing mocked inside the top 10. Garrett Wilson at number 11. I like it. Get Carson Wentz some weapons. Jermaine Johnson. Don't love him. Drake London to the Browns. Jordan Davis again at number 14 overall. Jordan Davis getting that combine hype. Getting that combine hype. I don't really understand it. I. It's very nice. He ran a 4.78, but he still has motor issues. What, you know, you're not going to solve motor issues by running a 4.78 at the combine. This dude gets winded after two plays. Devontae Wyatt, love him. David Ajabo. Guys, if you don't know the situation with David Ajabo, the Michigan pass rusher, he went down at Michigan's Pro Day today. Looks like a pretty significant injury, so I would not expect him to be a first-round pick, unfortunately. It's an unfortunate situation. It really is. Uh, they have Traylon Burks going 28 to the Packers. Bree Law. Oh, I love Brees Hall. I like this mock draft. Karloft is falling to 30. That's great value. You think it's at some point a team would trade up for Karloftis. Linderbaugh is really getting moved down the board. McDuffie's there. Okay. Nicobe Dean. Nicobe Dean on the Patriots. Oh my God, that's a perfect fit. Oh my God, that's a perfect. Not a terrible mock. I'm guessing Corral will go in the first round. Daxton Hill and Elam, I could both see not going in the first round. We're actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go to. See, this thing is annoying. Just go to this. And we're going to go to some mock drafts that have been recently posted that hopefully have the updated Packers trade. Does this have the updated? Yes, it does. Okay, so this has the full updated Packers trade. You've got Thibodeau going third overall. Kyle Hamilton once again second. Hutchinson first. Hutchinson is first on most of these because I guess people are assuming the Jaguars spent money on... The offense, so much money on the offense in free agency for Trevor Lawrence, Christian Kirk, you know, the, the franchise tag to Cam Robinson. Jermaine Johnson, I don't understand it. I, I'm getting annoyed at this point. Ajabo, like I said, he's going to fall after his injury. Malik Willis, he's the one, again, Malik Willis improved his stock out, out of any quarterback at the combine the most. You're going to see he's the one guy, the one quarterback that could go inside the top 10. Just looking through this, really trying to find different. Linderbot number 20, I doubt they'll go center. I doubt the Steelers will draft a center at number 20. Christian Watson at 24. It's interesting. Christian Watson is a freak. He's 6'4", and he runs a 4'3". The one thing I was talking about with Christian Watson, it, it's almost like he, he's, um, he's faster just straight line speed than he is in, in his tape. In his tape, he looks like a 4-5 guy. It's so weird. Jahad Dodson, that's too high. That's too high for Jahad Dodson. Cameron Thomas. Oh, I love this mock draft. Cameron Thomas, that's my guy. That's a rare one. That's a rare one. And then they have, so they have the Packers taking Cameron Thomas and Burks. I would not take Burks over some of these other receivers. Garrett Wilson at number 18. J that's too high. I would not draft Jordan Davis over Devontae Wyatt. No way. Devontae Wyatt at number 27. Lloyd at 30. Devin Lloyd is someone that's falling down boards due to his bad 40 time. Desmond Ritter gets a shot out at 32 overall. Green, the guard. He's a pure guard from AM. He's probably going to fall out of the first round. Corral, Hill, and then Elam. Just go through some of these. Some of these that are updated. Yeah. Thibodeau. Num I like it. I like it. I go different. Be you know, be rare, you know, going number one overall. Kyle Hamilton. Is Kyle Hamilton the consensus to the Detroit Lions right now? Is that what I'm seeing? Kyle Hamilton being the consensus? Matt Corral? Eh, come on now. Couldn't you try well, maybe I don't know. With these quarterbacks, it's weird, but what is this deal? How many first round picks do the so the Eagles have three top ten picks in a trade and they take Liel? At number and green. Oh my good. Okay, this is a troll. 
This is a troll. It has Hutchinson going 10th, Elam 9th. It's a troll. Drake Jackson. This ha th No. No, this is... Rashid Walker, Nick Benito. I love Nick Benito. Yeah, this is a this. <laughs> Wait, this this was had to have been from a from thirty years ago. Yeah, th I'm, okay. So this was from like when was this from? Oh no! Th th so I went to one that was from a that was funny. <laughs> I was like, dude, I was like, what? So I, I clicked on this one, and then I went to a previous one, but there is no previous one, so it went back to, like, one from October. That's what happened. That's had to have been what happened. So there's really no other mock drafts I can go to. It looks like this one has, has the updated trade. So this has the... Did I go to this one already? Oh, no, this is a different one. Tyler Smith in the first round. I like it. So you're looking at Malik Willis going to Carolina. Carolina seems like such a landing spot for Malik Willis just due to the fact that, they, that they're in desperate need of a quarterback. Thibodeau, number two. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson, number one. Hamilton goes three. Aquanu goes four. Jermaine Johnson. Guys, I don't understand it with Jermaine Johnson. I really don't. Love Ahmad Gardner. Love him. Charles Cross. I would be so disappointed. Seahawks fans, I, you finally get a first round pick, ten, ninth overall, and you take Charles Cross. You don't want something like that. I would take Penning over Cross. I would take Trevor Penning. Walker, bust. Garrett Wilson again to the Commanders. Carl Loftus to the Browns. I would like that as a Browns fan. Once again, we're seeing Jordan Davis moved up boards after his 40 time. They have Green in the first round. Pickett, Drake London at 19. Their whole wow. So that's a that's a decent haul. Devin Lloyd McDuffie on the defense and then getting Drake London on the offense. The Eagles haul. That's a pretty good haul. I'm not gonna lie. Burks at 22. I would not draft Burks in front of some of these. Like Burks in front of Alave. Maybe Aaron Rodgers wants a bigger receiver, but it's not even like. See, I think people don't understand. Burks, I think, is like 6'2", or maybe six, maybe he's 6'4", but I remember seeing Burks' height, and it's like people think Burks is like 6'6". He's not. It's not like he's this crazy tall dude. Chris Olave, I have Chris Olave ranked higher. Uh, Elam, Elam going in the first round. Jamison Williams at 26 overall to the Titans. I just drafted Jamison Williams at 26 overall when I did my 32 mocks in 32 days. Tyler Smith, there's a rare one. I like the rare ones. That's a thing. Linderbaugh, oh my goodness. That is a great value. Getting Joe Burrow a franchise center. You know, maybe you get Lyle Collins. He's visiting Cincinnati. But I think Cincinnati should go for Trevor Penning. I So they have Trevor Penning in the first round of this. He, they have him at 20. Yeah, Trevor Penning is definitely going to be a first round pick. There's no doubt. So this CBS one, this one doesn't have the trade updated. God, do this today. Oh, come on now. Oh, Trayvon Walker. Second overall. <laughs> Charles Cross, fifth overall. Consensus big board. Walker at number one? Dude. This is getting ridiculous. Drake London at two? Stingley at... I mean, I could see Stingley a little bit, I guess. Garrett Wilson getting some respect. I understand that. Jordan Davis, that's too high for me. Thibodeau, that's disrespectful. He's a top 10 player. Pickett, that's way too high. Kyle Hamilton, too low. McDuffie, too high. Burks, too high. Williams, slightly too high. Johnson, too high, but I'll accept it. Uh, Karloftis, too low. Wandale Robinson, who's 5'8". This, this had to have been before the combine. So the thing that happened with Wandale Robinson, guys, if you don't know... Kentucky lied about his height. They said they said he was 5'11". He measured at 5'8 at the combine. 5'8, the same as Calvin Austin. The same measurement as Calvin Austin. Christian Watson, Clark. I've heard a lot about this Clark. He did really well at the combine, but I wouldn't have... Alec Pierce, I agree with that. Alec Pierce, I have as my 31 overall player. I like that a lot. Kyler Gordon, I got him a little bit lower. George Pickens, I like that. Brace Hall, NPF. Okay, I'm starting to like this. Jihad Dotson a little high. A little high on Roger McCleary after his bad combine performance. Walker, I've you know, Martin Emerson, Kobe Bryant. So, yeah, there's definitely some disagreements with this big board. I mean, Walker at number one overall. London, that's really aggressive. Drake London is a really good player. Stingley Jr., maybe if this was... Two years ago when he was healthy, I mean, you can't put him at number four. You just can't, based on health, based on health. 
But guys, that is just me looking over some of these experts, big boards, things like that, different mock drafts. This is part three. I normally do one of these like once every three weeks or something. Honestly, I probably picked the worst day ever to do it because a lot of these mock drafts haven't been updated since the Packers last trade. So I don't know why I did it today. I just kind of was watching March, March Madness and I wanted to do it because I hadn't, I hadn't done it in a while. But either way, we're just going to go with it. So it's just me making fun of some of these experts' mock drafts or big boards, whatever. But I also give them credit when I think they're right. So guys, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, The Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.